uh, we don't want to associate ourselves, or I don't want to associate myself with anybody talking about rape. I'm a man that strongly believes that some women need they for <laughs> they put to. So I advocate rape too for some people. Some bitches need a good raping. Fuck Farrakhan. I just want to wake up this morning and let the Muslim community know y'all a worthless piece of shit organization and religion. Because because that's what somebody believes. I believe in God, and somebody else might believe in this in, in Farrakhan, but I'm not gonna crush their dream of what they believe in. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Wow, I, I'm seeing things where they took they took his stuff down off of 85 South, I believe it was. Yeah, they took it off 85 South and off because of, what was it? Because of the mess going on? Was it or? or oh, I'm hearing different things. Me, I'm I'm personally, I heard, I'm I heard something from. I'm e listening. Way, I'm I heard something like from. This. Listen, I heard this from. I can't get more sources up, but I heard that it ain't the fact that he got into it with Ti and uh, and uh, uh, Boosie. If you supporting anybody who coming against my kids, bro, I can't fuck with you. Bro. That is something bigger than that. Mm -hmm. That the people keep. Saying that makes them not want to deal with. See, I ain't Charles lie, no. I, I I ain't finna delete no interview because somebody tell me to delete it though. I just feel like then I ain't can't nobody run my show. Well, like, these guys, these guys shows, have a lot of these guys have a lot of connections. Yeah, they got endorsements uh, and uh, stuff like that. They though. got a lot of connections. Uh, you gotta see somebody uh, intentions. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you stay around somebody so long. You don't well, I take that back. I had deleted somebody interview before. Yeah, yeah. I had deleted somebody interview, but it wasn't because nobody told me to do. I did it because I wanted to. But why? That's what I'm saying. It, it had over five million views. Yeah, it was up there. The one on Funny Marco did like a meal real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real quick. And there was a part two to it. It never did come out. Yeah, yeah, that, I mean, yeah. He, um, you know, some some people kind of see his energy. You know. Uh, mm. I hate it for him because all the bloggers is just bringing them up and doing interviews to to uh, kill us, uh, uh, kill itself. Mm. You know, they, he, they they letting them come up to talk about the negative shit over and over and over again. You know I remember last time you was here, Kevin Gates told you he wanted you to call him. Yeah. Well, he finally get the meeting because I see him hugging. Yeah. Then all this stuff, other stuff started happening. Yeah, like, yeah, it started happening like fast. Yeah, that God. Well, it's something else when it happened to him. It's God. You know, it's, that's, how, that's how God roll. God gonna take away your blessings when you out here doing shit that ain't go, that, that is not part of the mission that he got you on here, out here for. You know what I'm saying? It's, man, you got, you, you, you just have, you just have four killings, uh, 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 uh murder where four word, people yeah. died. Boys in the car, pictures going where you never spoke about that because you feel like you're bigger than that now. Let, let me keep on going at Ti and Booster. Never spoke about that. You never spoke about the the crime. You never went out there. You never did anything about that because you think you're bigger than that. So the mission the guy put you out here for, you're not on that no more. So hyped about hype is over. The activists going downtown is that over? I ain't seen none of that. That ain't how long has it been since y'all done that together? Cause you was with him. When what? You been around him, so you knew if he was uh, saying. We went to the last time we did went to them schools about two months ago, three months ago. And that's when they told y'all can come back. Nah, that was uh, Austin. That's where he went yesterday. Oh, he went to Austin. Yeah, yesterday. So that's the whole thing. He said that I. Oh, he said you didn't come. You missed out on something. Uh, I ain't talked to him. I ain't talked to him about three weeks, two weeks, and uh, I never knew he was going out there. And I believe he went out there by himself, and the people was asking where Rainwater at with them rappers. That that because they when we came up, they was they was in, uh, attached, and you know they were listening, and we was interacting with them. Them people still be texting my phone, so I think they were like, "Where Rainwater and them with the rappers?" He felt bad and tried to make it seem like we just didn't show up. You ain't, you never told nobody that you was going up there, and uh, we don't want to uh, associate ourselves, or I don't want to associate myself with anybody talking about rape. I'm a man that strongly believe that some women need they ass whooping. Pussy too. So I advocate rape too for some people. Some bitches need a good raping. Fuck Farrakhan. I just want to wake up this morning and let the Muslim community know y'all a worthless piece of shit organization and religion. Because because that's what somebody believes. And I believe in God. And somebody else might believe in this in, in Farrakhan. But I'm not going to crush their dream of what they believe in. Because that's what they believe in. You understand what I'm saying? They got their reasons for believing in Farrakhan. You understand what I'm saying? So when you come and saying fuck somebody religion, 
Nah, man. But did you seen him say this before though? What all of a sudden now? Uh, you uh, did you uh, did it rub you wrong then? His friend called and said he didn't want to be no part of it. His friend that was uh, in the uh, documentary. And they said they don't know. All the men said they don't want to be a part of it no more. So that's what made you just say. I'm it. like, damn. That's what made you. So then, it wasn't going to yeah, jail. Just when they then said. Then you going with Boosie. You going there with Boosie. Boosie ain't nothing, ain't been nothing but good to uh, Mo three and his family and me. If you supporting anybody who coming against my kids, bro, I can't fuck with you. Bro. So that's what it's, that's where it happened when he when he started down playing on Boosie. You you felt some type of way. I still let it go. It, uh, you I still were trying I, to hang in there with him. Uh, it was about when he went to jail. So the jail. when he called me messy, I told somebody else, man, Charles in the jail. We, ain't, we can't we can't turn that shit in today. But you got to understand, like everything somebody say, you're not gonna agree with it. Okay, mm -hmm. we know that. For me, dealing with the Charleston White that I was dealing with, I seen the fact that. That was good and bad, like with everybody. Yeah. And I felt like God was big enough for the job. I'm like, man, some good can come out of this guy because he was helping the kids. I put it on the screen. You can go back and look at the interviews that I just yeah. pulled up. What is what is going on right here? I see the kids. Man, that's a that's a that's a anti human trafficking uh, event that uh, uh, I did with Special Agent uh, Keith Owens with the United States Department of Homeland Security, uh, Human Trafficking Division, uh, wow. Dallas. Uh, over at a church over in South Dallas. Man, I'm going to ask uh, you about a couple of them, too, because I don't want you to get off here without me getting Yeah, so them was all young ladies. Young ladies, beautiful yeah. young ladies. Yeah. What about these guys here? Say, man, them some young niggas fresh out of Stop Six Project. Shout out to <laughs> shout, out, shout, out to, shout out to my nigga Willie Tutt over there, man. He got them shirts made. Man. And I was trying to figure out a way to figure out that algorithm because he had invited me, him and Miss King, to the school. So it started off like that. Now, I don't know where it is today because I hadn't talked to Charleston in months. It's been, what, about nine months? Almost a year. Almost a year. Mm -hmm. I hadn't talked to him. I, I detached myself because of the fact of all of the different, you know, it was one day it's this, the next day it's that, and mm -hmm. I just kind of, but I, his brand, I had no problem with saying, man, big ups to him. He going to do whatever because you and him was rocking. And I seen that and I knew that you, you're a business person when it come down. To, I thought you was managing him, to be honest with you. In no. my mind, I was like, this nigga must be managing him because y'all were, he, he say you was a genius and all this other stuff. So as I seen y'all keep elevating and doing your thing, I was like, big ups. No hate because I'm a hustler. I ain't got time to hate. I'm trying to focus on my brand. So as I seen this. I would see the, the, the things, I seen the things, the, the, the F this or F that, but I felt like you guys had understanding because of the character. He talks about the character, that it's not the same as him when he's on just a regular person. So all the stuff he said on the internet is like he's, he's rolling the game up to say, that's the internet. Don't believe, I might say anything on the internet. I did this, I did that. So I was like, you was rolling with it. But then now you're saying, oh man, now nah, hold up. This nigga talk about Farrakhan. This nigga talk about you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I and, and I see the uh, I see how, nigga, I say see, F I, whatever. I, I see how people really feel about that situation. You know, uh, God put me on another path. I ain't out here just looking for clout no more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you know, I ain't out here trying to still go out and go to the strip club every night. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So sometimes people I grow each other. Yeah. And then when they grow, grow each other and they realize that you're not growing them, then they try to bring you back on the same level as them. Yeah, yeah. So you feel like you moving to something different. Yeah. And like I said, at this time, he hadn't talked about Boosie. Yeah. He hadn't, he hadn't talked about uh, uh, certain things that you feel like affects the people that have been supportive of you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.